Every now and then, many of us require to install some sort of third-party software for various reasons. In some cases though, it involves going through some generic installation sites or yet worse, some shady websites. We obviously want to avoid getting malicious software, so a general recommendation is to run and test the software on a virtual machine. Although it's a solid advice, setting up a VM can be time consuming. So in this short video, I will show you an alternative solution which is Windows Sandbox. But what is it? Well, it is a separate non-persistent desktop environment. Which means that whenever we have closed it, all the data inside was gone. It also features a separate kernel which is great for security as well. However, to use it we need to meet some requirements and those requirements are the following. I will also put the official sandbox link in the description so you can learn more about it from there as well. Now let's look at how we can actually use it. First we need to enable virtualization from our BIOS. This process is simple but it changes depending on the computer hardware you have, so check this beforehand. To make sure that the virtualization was turned on, we can go to the task manager and head over to the performance tab. There, as you can see that the virtualization was indeed enabled, so we are good to go. Then we head over to the search bar and search for Windows features. Then we open up the menu and turn on the Windows sandbox. But to fully activate the feature we need to restart our PC. Now we are essentially ready to run the Windows sandbox. So let's head over to our search bar again and type sandbox and execute it. As you can see, it will open up a clean windows install on a separate window. This is the place where we can make our tests. And that said, we basically concluded this video. I hope you find it useful and if that is the case, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. See you next time. Take care.